Why stop at one golf cart when you can have two? Golf Carting TV is your inside source for the coolest upgrades, mods, and accessories to take your trusty golf cart from drab to fab. Hey there, and welcome back to Golf Carting TV. My name is Matt with Converted Carts, and we're thrilled to have another guest here today. And today, not only are we looking at one golf cart, but we're looking at two. So our friend Al has two club cars, and we're going to take a look at that and see what he's done with each one, which is distinctly different. One's gas and one's electric. So let's jump on in. So Al, tell us a little bit about... Um, what you got? I know we talked about we've got two carts, so tell us just the basics, make, model, year, that kind of stuff, and then we'll take a closer look at the carts. Okay. Well, the first cart that I worked on is a 2016. It's a uh, gas uh, Subaru EFI. I uh, I did that one with the Alpha body. I also lifted it six inch lift. Uh, I added off road tires on that one and uh redid the upholstery and all that and uh and i did the same exact thing to a 2018 electric uh just changed uh instead of going off-road I, I went with uh on-road uh, low profile rims and tires uh just to make it a little bit easier transport in uh, in a toy hauler without having to remove the roof all right, Al, so why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what makes these carts so awesome? Okay, Matt. So what I did with uh, this uh, 2016 gas cart here is I, uh, I installed the alpha body, stripped it all down, cleaned the frame up as, as good as I could, uh, removed a lot of the oxidation, as you can see there, or cleaned that all up. Then I put the new body, uh, new wiring, new mat, uh, new upholstery. Uh, I also installed this Phoenix dash and I did some customizing on it. So it didn't have a fuel gauge because most uh, golf courses, they don't really need a fuel gauge. They just gas it up at the end of the day. But also it didn't have the receiver in the tank, uh, actually the sender unit. Um, so what I did is I found that I installed it which I then installed the fuel gauge there. I found this six gang control module, which is pretty cool, comes with relays. And basically this is the box that controls it. Everything goes into here. So basically you're able to have each circuit for whatever accessories you have, okay? So I ran that there. As you can see, everything is all clean and professionally done uh, i also added usb ports uh usb c as well there's a horn there and basically i have uh headlights stereo uh underglow still going to be installing the light bar basically that's the only thing that's left to install that in a, a front bumper uh, i have daytime running lamps and uh, auxiliary that would be the uh usb ports there so that's what i did with that there and that's I awesome did... thank you thank you so much then i i did have the uh sound bar installed but as i was working on the next cart which we're going to go over uh i just wanted to test it so i brought it over to the other side but we'll be putting it back or getting another one for this guy here so uh as far as uh wheels like i mentioned I did go with the uh, bigger off-road tires on this guy right here. I believe the tires or the rims are spiders or something like that. But uh, yep. they're correct. great. They uh, uh, suspension GTW. Uh, it's been working great for uh, over a year now. Um, the upholstery here. Uh, is also custom pleated i believe it was um place out in uh, florida uh custom custom fabrics or something like that i'm not sure of the of the name of the company but um uh, mad jacks all around i went with the rare c kit with the uh 
cooler. Always good to have a cooler in your golf cart, right? Of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, Built-in cup holders. And uh, this is just great. I mean, uh, this is uh, my personal cart. Uh, I love I love how it came out, exactly how I wanted it, and uh, very happy with the uh, results. I love that. So is it officially, like, do you – uh, do you guys have street legal rules, things like that, or is it just kind of neighborhood cart? How, what, how do you use it? Exactly. Well, uh, we don't. It's a, uh, it's a gas, so it's not uh, street legal here in Rockland County, New York. Uh, but I do use it around the neighborhood. I'm on a secondary and tertiary street, so gotcha. no one really bothers us. You know, the uh, uh, law enforcement they're pretty cool around here. I mean, then again, you know, we don't have it you know, wide open throttle. <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, it, it's, uh, you know, it's just perfect for what we need it for. We take a camping uh, events, you know, that I go to. I'm a big hobbyist with RC uh, helicopters. So we go to many events uh, all over uh, the U.S. So we have a good time and we bring our cart with us to transport our goodies. Nice. And you mentioned uh, something about the the toy toy hauler so this one doesn't fit in there or it, does, it doesn't fit it, as well it's basically it's basically two inches too high got so, it so what i did do is i got a couple of quick release pins here and i between those and these quick release here that i also borrow from the other car i'm able to just quickly take the roof down and able to fit it into my toy hauler Nice. Yes. Nice. Cool. All right. Well, let's take a look at uh, cart number two. Okay. So this is a 2018 electric uh, club cart. Uh, basically did the same exact thing. Stripped her down, cleaned her all up. Uh, also installed the underglow. Like I mentioned, I did a low profile. Uh, did a little different type of scheme on the rims. I I did the black and uh, red, which uh, I think really came out pretty nice. Uh, I also did same upholstery, same company. Uh, they did a, such a fantastic job on the other card. I went right back to them. Um, also, new mat, all new wiring. This cart was uh, all stock, didn't even have a bucket harness in it. So uh, this is street legal. I have lights on it with the um, signals, uh, horn, uh, everything everything to make it street legal. Uh, not in this state, but in certain states, they'd be able gotcha. to run it without a, an issue. On this card, as far as accessories, uh, I did the underglow. I have the USB here, uh, just regular USB. Uh, we have headlights. Uh, the underglow comes on. There's the control module for it right there. And and it's uh, 48 volts. Uh, the, the rear seat kit is not a Magjax. I believe this is also a GTW. Uh, I kept it very basic. I didn't put a cooler in here. Uh, just to uh, just to keep it, you know, uh, a little bit more cost effective. And um, but other than that, uh, the cart is is a great cart. Uh, came out exactly how I wanted it. Here is the bazooka that I had in the other cart that I just put in here just to do some testing, and uh, everything's perfect with it. Uh, the only thing I might do is just get the new steering wheel. I mean, if we have it here. Why not put it on this one here? So I'm going to do that. Uh, I have a couple of people that are interested in it. I am selling it. Um, it was just a project uh, that I just wanted to work on because it's uh, fun working on these carts. Yes, it is. That's for sure. That's cool. Yeah. We did a great job for sure. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Matt. Awesome, Al. Well, thank you so much for joining us uh, today and sharing. It's uh, I think it's the first time we've had two carts on, so uh, that's a great uh, opportunity to take a look at two different carts, similar but different, both you know, gas, electric, and, and different things that you did to it. So 
again, really appreciate you coming and, and uh, joining us today. Thank you so much, Matt. It was a pleasure being on your show.